Penny, I assure you, I'm fine. Yet my relationship with Amy was purely intellectual. There were no emotional bonds, the severing of which would cause me any discomfort. The relationship simply outlived its utility, and I'm continuing on with my life as before. Okay, good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to buy a pussycat. <laughs> <gasps> Gentlemen. Hey. Oh, hey. Aren't you going to introduce us to your little friend? Oh, my apologies, Raj Howard. I'd like you to meet Dr. Robert Oppenheimer. <laughs> Hello. Now, if you'll excuse me, the father of the atomic bomb wants a saucer of milk. <laughs> Okay, I get it. We're worried about Sheldon. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> Robert Oppenheimer was lonely. So you decided to get the whole Manhattan Project? Yes. This is Enrico Fermi, Richard Feynman, Edward Teller, Otto Frisch. Zazzles. <laughs> Zazzles? I was going to name him Hermann von Helmholtz, but he's so... Zazzy. <laughs> Okay, we need to talk. About what? Cats, Sheldon. You're clearly upset about Amy being gone and you're trying to replace her with a bunch of cats. Clowder. What? A group of cats is a clowder or a glaring. Okay, yeah, fine. That's the kind but... of thing you ought to know now that we have one. <laughs> Terrific. My, my point is you need to face up to what you're feeling with this breakup. It wasn't a breakup. A breakup would imply that Amy was my girlfriend. Okay, I got it, I got it. She's not your girlfriend. Now, listen to me. I know about loneliness. I know about trying to replace someone with other stuff. When I broke up with Penny, I got back into my cello. I built a bunch of model rockets. I got those weightlifting gloves and that, that five-pound dumbbell. You didn't break up. She dumped you. She didn't dump me. It was mutual. I was there. She dumped you. Okay, uh, fine. Live with cats. Be like my Aunt Nancy. She had dozens of them. You know what happened after she died? They ate her. You don't have to sell me on cats, Leonard. I'm already a fan. Something I should prepare you for. Oh, relax, Leonard. I have raised that boy. I've seen him at his best. I've seen him at his worst. There's nothing he can do that'll surprise me. Hold on to that thought. <laughs> Surprise. Mom, what an unexpected pleasure. My, my, that's a powerful smell. I'd like you to meet Oppenheimer, Frisch, Penofsky, Feynman, Wisecott. Yeah, I get it. You got a lot of cats and you gave them cute Jewish names. <laughs> what are you doing here? Leonard called. He said that you were pining for a young lady. Oh, that's preposterous. I'm not pining over anyone. Oh, lamb chop. We can quibble what to call it, but I think we can both agree it's creepy. <laughs> I do not agree. Cats make wonderful companions. They don't argue or question my intellectual authority. And this little guy here, I think you'll find to be quite zazzy. <laughs> you should have called sooner. <laughs> No cats! Aww. Would you like to see my cats? I would. I love cats. They're the epitome of indifference. Oh, then you may find Zazzle's a little cloying. Thank you, Amy. Here's your cat. And here's your $20. Next! Thank you, Amy. Here's your cat. And here's your $20.